In this first video, we're going to look at what I think is one of the most important things to learn about using the autoplay patterns in GarageBand. To demonstrate this, we're going to use the grand piano on autoplay setting 3. As I record, I'll leave the metronome on and pay particular attention to the change between C to G and A minor to F. So if you listen closely, you may hear that the change from C to G and from A minor to F are slightly late. If you wait until beat 1 to press the next chord, it's probably too late, particularly if there's any hesitation at all. The trick here is to press the next chord strip just before the next bar or measure begins. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, tap. And now you should notice that all of the chords change perfectly in time. 